General Motors announcing layoffs and shutting down plants, certainly one of the big headlines this week. That's what we're talking about today with Gary Dick from Inside Indiana Business. Yep. So this is a big news this week, wasn't B it? Big story, Blockbuster, a long overdue, the experts will say, in terms of General Motors kind of retooling, if you will, yeah. to accommodate for this big consumer shift going away from passenger cars to SUVs and trucks and crossovers. Uh, Big numbers, 15,000 jobs, 14,000 jobs cut, five plants closed, including one uh, in Ohio. What will the impact here be? Talked with an associate professor at the IU Kelly School of Business who uh, thinks Indiana may be positioned well. There's the General Motors truck plant in, in Fort Wayne, you know, producing a lot of trucks there. Uh, and he thinks long term this plan for General Motors will be a good thing. I think for a long time, they have been using incentives to push the, the money losing vehicles and now um, finally they've uh, bitten the bullet and it's, um, I think it's past time and um, mm -hmm. I think the stock market response on yeah. Monday uh, reflected that. To give you an idea, uh, uh, Scott, of this move to trucks and SUVs, six passenger lines, uh, car lines were cut as part of this announcement. Right, right. All of those six lines sold about 200,000 units for the first month of this year. The Chevy Silverado alone so, sold 425,000 wow. units that's in that time. Growth, so that's yeah. that's where the market is. Okay. And uh, you're also covering a couple of IU grads celebrating a big investment, right? We see the, the hand sanitizers yep. in, in stores and malls and in all kinds of places. They created a business around around that. Both IU grads, and they're adding jobs in Indiana. They're now in multiple, they have thousands of customers. Uh, it's called uh, TerraBoost Media. They, uh, they sell these uh, hand sanitizers, uh, sanitizers with advertising on it. Mm. Uh, look to add about 150 jobs here. So, and they'll look for a lot of salespeople, business development people will have that story yeah. as well. A big sports story. Jeff Brom staying at Purdue. What'd you think of that? And it's a business story. Six mil, yeah. six million dollars. So it was Purdue, Mitch Daniels, Mike uh, Babinski made a statement yeah. by, by keeping him because a lot of people thought he was gone. Yeah, boiler up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can watch exactly. Inside Hammer Indiana down. Business Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, right after Meet the Press. Good friend of the show, Gary Dick, <laughs> hosting that program here on Channel 13.